Hello everyone. So today I am going to show you how to use AI navigation for this pawn uh, uh, pawn characters in our TSK. Uh, so here you can see instead of directly reaching to a point, they are trying to use the navigation system and reach the point. So here even if I click here, character can find a path around the house and go there so earlier we were just uh, using direct movement they were trying to reach the point in a straight line and today we are going to add the ai navigation so i will show you how to do do this using c++ and we will modify the existing move command of these characters to move using AI navigation and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects i have done from my patreon page once you become a member you can access any you can access anything without any limits so and also here you can watch all other episodes of this series where i covered everything from scratch in this series and here there is another series that i have done some other uh, strategy game tutorial uh, set of tutorials but here we are using blueprints unlike here we were using c and here we have implemented everything with blueprints so if you are interested in that feel free to check it out as well okay so let's get back to today's episode So this is what we have right now. If I select one character and right click, it tries to go there like in a straight line. See, so it's not using any kind of uh, AI navigation. So that's the next step I want to do. So the first step is we need to add a nav mesh into this. And after that, we will modify our C++ parent class of these pawns to use AI navigation instead of directly trying to reach the given point. Okay, first, as for the navigation, let me narrow mesh. Let's place a narrow mesh bounds volume. Let's make it like. Ten thousand. Uh, thousand. Okay, it's not enough. Okay, now this covers the entire area. If I press P, I can see the generated my now mesh here. It should be a little bit bigger. Okay, now we have the narrow mesh. Let me press P again because I don't need to see the preview of the narrow mesh. And uh, one more thing here. Here you see the characters are blocking navigation. You can see around them the narrow mesh is not generated. So this is not something desirable so to avoid this what we need to do is if you select the capsule component and there is an option called navigation can never affect navigation if you disable this now you see that is gone see it's not there anymore okay uh, but if you want you can go to the C++ class it can ever affect navigation you can do it in this level as well and compile operation done 
now here it's removed by default it would be removed by default okay so how do we implement ai navigation in here so for that uh, we have to use the ai module and ai controller yeah ai controller dot h which resides in this ai module so first of all let's go to top down utilities build.cs and here as a private dependency i will add the ai module and then i should be able to include this ai controller class for the base form like this now here you get this cannot open source file that's usually because when i make changes to these uh, dependency modules i think it's not refreshing so usually what i do is here i go back to close visual studio and i go back to project and refresh visual studio project i think the same would happen if you just regenerate project uh, visual studio project files as well so and open again right now we don't have that error okay so as i said i want to use the ai move to uh, function sorry not ai mode function move to location function within the ai controller instead of just adding just moving the character in a straight line so for that yeah first i'll disable this add moment input and then here this is uh, move to location implementation this is where i issue the move command here i do this first we need a reference to the ai controller of this pawn so for that ai controller Let's call it on a controller, and we can get it like this. First, we need to cast to that AI controller, and get controller from this. be within brackets okay now this will give us a reference to the ai controller class of this form and then we can call uh on ai controller move to location now here we can give uh to location destination here we have this target location so we can pass the target location and then next thing we need to give this give is the acceptance radius we have already defined an acceptance radius for this class we did it here yeah, this so i'll simply use that and there are a bunch of other parameters that we can pass into this function as well for example if we need to get a callback when the uh pawn reach the destination or when it fails or things like that but for now i don't need any of those things so this should be enough and also we are still making b moving true so because of that this uh, orientation will be corrected as the character moves around 
so we don't have to worry about that we have already worked on that part um, okay now if I go here and compile okay done let's see okay so the speed seems off but the system is working see even if I click here character goes around and find the target see reach the target okay so it is working but we just need to fix why is it running the reason is here this is the animation blueprint that I'm using if I print this we must be getting a large value uh, since we have a lot of characters we might get some confusing results so let me delete some of them now see it's zero if I click see it's 15,000 something a very large value but the reason this happens is I did some uh, Google search and this is the reason here if you select this and go to now moment properties use acceleration for parts if you enable this uh, uh, path following will control character movement via acceleration values because we already have this acceleration so this will be taken into account so if you simply enable that Yeah. now it's showing regular moment okay great so these are working as expected now just to test if I add different characters should still work without any issue and what if I change the destination while they are moving that still works without any problem okay so that's all I want to cover in this episode now maybe instead of calling this move it would be better if we call it something like orient um, orient character rotation to movement something like that and also let me move this all together because we don't need it anymore so here and form direction okay that's done let me do a recompile oh good test again yep oh this way okay so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available here for download in the patreon page link could be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below see you in another episode goodbye